All right, ladies and gents, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we're going to be playing Dark Sector for the PS3. This will be our very first time playing it, so if you're just joining us, you haven't missed a thing. But if you'd like to check out some of the games I've played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, for tonight, we will go ahead and get into the game. Although, a couple of notes here. The main reason we're playing this game, the main reason I'm so curious to play this game, is this the game that was made by the company Digital Extremes before they made Warframe, which is my most played game ever on Steam. And the weird thing is, just even having seen a tiny portion of the game, there seems to be a lot of references that Warframe borrowed. Uh, for starters, the O up there, that symbol in the O is the symbol of the Lotus in uh, uh, Warframe, which appears everywhere in there. Uh, also, our protagonist's uh, name is Hayden Tenno, and Tenno are what the protagonists are called in Warframe as well, so... That's super weird. That's just from the box we've got two references Warframe took, so that's really weird. <laughs> you hard crashed your PS5 LTG? Holy crap. That's frightening. Drav, welcome in. How are you doing today, Drav? Hope everything is good with you. Let's see. Blackrock, I was telling my friend one of the things I love to do in Warframe is stay up late. Selling stuff in trading chat. I've never actually done trading in Warframe after all that time. Which is pretty bizarre. Check out the options real quick. See if it saved my audio stuff. It did. Alright. So yeah, there, you notice it says network and LAN game on there. There is actually multi network multiplayer modes in here. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit more after we finish the game, though, but they're weird. They're super weird. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. And now our first loading screen, that's a bad sign. Lazria, 20 years later, Vazro Guleg. Idzicie, na miasto. Abratno na patrol. The Steven Seagal neck snap, classic. I can't do this again. Just stay focused. Use your training. I thought I could, but, but you're I... You're past the point of no return, Hayden. You're already inside the compound. Decision's made. Are you sure this thing isn't airborne? It's not, but even if it is, your booster's good for another six hours. Now get with it. Plant your charges. Then infiltrate the building. Well, he sounds excited. <laughs> Let me get caught up on chat real quick. You are correct, Gamagumo. They did finally bring the glaive into the game, so there's that too. Let's see. 4M, this game might be your jam. You recently realized you have a strange proclivity towards PS3 era third person shooters. I feel like PS3 era third person shooters are a lot like N64 collectathons, and that they are a very specific vibe. And if you like that vibe, you're going to have a lot of games that you can play, which is nice. 
Musketeer, as far as I know, Dark Sector was supposed to be Warframe, but the publisher said, nope, nobody likes space games and we got an action shooter. Can you imagine if uh, Digital Extremes had made Warframe as a single player game and then just moved on with their lives? What a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Gulag! I love it. Let's see. I forget, Shane, what is your favorite frame to play in Warframe? Uh, usually either Rhino or Saren is the one I run around with. I play a lot of both of them. Alright. Bit of chopper landing over there. Chapter 1. Prologue. reported immediately? That's concerning. Oh, you like Valkyr? I think Valkyr is one of the newer ones. I haven't played that one too much. Yes, I Am Alive is also on the list of games I want to stream. That one I have beaten offline. It's not a great game, but it's perfectly fine for what it is. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> oh, Valkyr is pretty old. Alright, I haven't played Valkyr then. That one I'm not uh, super familiar with. All right, got an ammo pickup right there. That's cool. Uh, press L1 to aim without aiming. Your accuracy is severely reduced. Shoot the lock off the door to progress. All right, there we go. So aim is L1, fire is R1. Pretty standard. Someone you suspect to be infected. The infected target has an increased metabolism and hardened exterior. Their flesh continues to harden over time, so decisive action is required. Enferon gas is an effective complement to your arsenal. Enferon is a mild irritant if inhaled by a healthy adult, but applied to the infected target will cause paralysis and death given sufficient exposure. Interesting, interesting. Debuted alongside Zanuka. All right, so that's a while ago. Nano, you like Loki, Excalibur, Vobon, Frost, and Wukong. Wukong can definitely be fun. Excalibur. I don't usually use Excalibur, but Excalibur Umbra, I've gotten a lot of use out of. That's my uh, sentient killing frame right there. Love me some uh, Excalibur Umbra. Hello? Where the heck is that coming from? Sounds like it's very. Oh, no. Audio makes it sound like it's very close. It's really weird. Mesa? I know a lot of people that like Mesa. Oh, jeez! Next snap! I was just wondering, I'm like, do I have stealth finishers? I do have stealth finishers. That's lovely. Oh, I can take his gun, too? Don't mind if I do. Oh, jeez. I'm moving into position. Whoa! What the hell was that? Whoa, grenade. Oh, 
Okay. Real quick, since the game doesn't seem to want to teach me everything, I'm going to go ahead and check out the controls. Because I do happen to have the manual for this. Let's take a look real quick. Wisp is pretty neat. I played around with some Wisp a little bit. Wisp is a very good support frame. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Um, all right, so left on the D-pad is rifle. Uh, right on the D-pad is pistol. Up is flashlight. Um, L2 is grenade. That's pretty cool. So I can reload with square. That's good. Um, X is dodge and enter cover. I can also hold it down to sprint and circles melee. All right. Reasonable enough. Manual? Like the real deal old style manual with a bunch of pages and everything. It's not terribly interesting because it's uh, basically just the... Uh, it's basically just the controls on how to connect to multiplayer in English, then Spanish, then French. <laughs> so not terribly juicy, unfortunately. Man, it's sure a bold aesthetic to make a modern shooter with a completely monochrome color palette. It was the trend at the time. Nothing I can do about that. Put on your motorcycle clothes and infiltrate Russia. No big deal. <laughs> Tata I, uh, I got Titania Prime somehow when I was uh, messing around with her. She's pretty cool. A Nidus main. I don't think I've ever seen a Nidus main before. That's awesome. Oh man, I love Octavia. Octavia is my support frame of choice. Whenever I feel like playing support, I'll usually go Octavia. Um. All right, I can see I can steal ammo off of dudes. That's good. I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of ammo here. I like that. Well, hard to see because you know everything is dark. Actually, do it in his own self-interest. It's when the enemies do that. Oh my God! Yes, yeah, Splinter Cell. <laughs> I feel bad for all those poor environmental artists that worked on Splinter Cell, and nobody ever saw anything except green. That has got to be frustrating for them. Whoa! Somebody down there. Hang on, dude. We're searching for secrets. Well, at least he seems to have a predictable pattern. I respect that. Wow! I do not, not, not know what blew up there. <laughs> the crosshair is far off the mark for where the gun is actually aiming. Oh yeah, that is super weird. <laughs> that again feels very accurate for the era. Whoop, nope, nope. This side. Stuck to the wrong side of the barrier there. was a really cool game it had some neat ideas it executed them and then it stopped uh, it's, that's that's what a good indie game should do just say what you gotta say and then step aside I appreciate that like I said hopefully we will be playing it on stream at some point in there. Gotta get that lock off
Hello, Victor. Ah, oh, thank God you are here. Somehow he knows I sent that message. I just need to know where Mesner is. The Wesleyan military is working for him now. They've got a chopper coming in. <coughs> but listen to me. He's trying to get inside the vault. If that happens... Well... It's done. Good. It was too dangerous to extract him and we can't risk bringing the infection back here. My head is killing me. You better pull it together. If Mesner gets that infectious material out of Lazria, it'll spread like the plague. I just want to get this over with. So find Mesner. He's the linchpin. Put a bullet through his head. at least hear what else he had to say. Dude was tied up. He was no risk to anyone. Let me caught up right, uh, real quick right here. Balls, you're craving like a cheap frozen pizza. Not a good pizza, but the flavor of cheap frozen pizza. I get that craving sometimes. <laughs> Keyboard turner overdrive. Welcome in. Are you actually playing this on a PS3? I am. I am. I've got three consoles that I have set up or playing directly off the hardware. That's my PS2, my PS3, and my Switch. Um, I've got a mountain of other consoles in the house. They're not just connected to my streaming rig right now. So uh, yeah, whenever we play PS3 stuff, we are playing on real hardware. Although I do want to play around with a PS3 emulator. I hear it's very good these days for certain games. Uh, let's see. Tony's Pizza, usually when I go for Frozen, I go for either DiGiorno's or Screaming Sicilian, depending on what I'm in the mood for right there. Lord Sunbaby, welcome in. Number one, yes, this is the Krull game. And number two, I appreciate anybody that remembers Krull, because I have seen that movie like seven times, which is way too many times to see Krull, but I happen to love Krull. <laughs> Musketeer, you just ordered pizza? Ooh, what kind of toppings did he put in for? I would love to hear. Yeah, those aren't the cheap frozen pizzas, that's true. But most of the cheapest frozen pizzas are like New York style, and I don't like New York style. Alright, oops. Hello. He is right there. Get him. Wow, jeez. That was right there. Whoa! Oh, hello. Did not notice him on the way in. Really hard to see when everything is different shades of gray. I'm making it work, but still, it's, it's pretty brutal here. Here's hoping we get a couple new colors at some point as a treat. You're gunfire right back there, but there's not actually... Whoa, there we go. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Whoa! Let's uh, pull back for a second. Who the hell's throwing grenades? Rude. Very aggressive. Also, English? I appreciate him insulting me in my native tongue. Thank you for that. That's a bad guy really willing to go the extra mile. You gotta respect that. Oh, hello. Let's invent colors! They mentioned Krull and how to lose a guy in 10 days? 
In what context? I must know. I'm extremely curious now. I know there's a dude up there, but where's he hiding? That's a bunch of berries. Oh. I thought he was back there. You above me? Whoa! He's above me, really. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, a giant spider is terrifying. Holy shit. <laughs> Do you even crawl, bro? Double cheese, pineapple, kebab, tuna, and pepperoni. There's two ingredients there I've never had on pizza before. That's super interesting, but I hope you enjoy it. In Game of Gumo, I've seen half an hour of Crawl once. The movie is misinformed literally everybody as to what a glaive actually is for literal decades. It's true. That's not what a glaive is. I don't know why they call it a glaive. It's a cool weapon, though. <laughs> English only is straight, but it's very considerate. There's only two types of glaives from Krull and from uh, Blade. I refuse anything else. Respect, respect. What do we miss so far? I shot a guy in the head for no real reason, and now my character has a headache. That's about it. <laughs> he objects because the thing needs a manly name like Krull. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Crawl is a very weird movie. It's not a good movie, but I love it deeply. Are we doing Arthur Cross? Welcome in. Alright, where are we heading? This way? No? We gotta head upstairs, actually. Pretty sure I saw a door up there. Grab some more guns on the way out. It's yay guns! This gun is doing pretty well for us, actually. Alright, how do I get up there then? Uh, stairs. Oops. I got cut on. It's really dark in here. I don't see any stairs over on this side. That's weird. Right, let's see what we got over here. We are going to be seeing lots of red if that's what we see when we get hit. So as you might guess from the fact this game has no UI whatsoever, um, this is a cover shooter with regenerating health. So as long as I'm not blinking red, I'm mostly at full health. Oh! Well, that was bad times. Like the part with the dogs from Resident Evil. Plant C4 explosives, don't mind if I do. But I'll just leave that there. I hear Chopper, I don't see Chopper. There it is! Wow! Woo! First death right there. I have not played Whispers in the Wall yet. I want to though, it sounds really cool. Yeah, uh, talking about steering a dude sounds very weird. That is a confusing bit of terminology there. All right. Cover here. Start shooting dudes when they start coming down over here. A chopper landing? What is going on over there? That's 
That's weird. Have you considered filtering your camera to grayscale? So there's no color whatsoever? Seems not ideal. I presume people want some sort of color at some point. What? Why were they just hiding back there? <laughs> no color, only bullets. Oh, I should have done that for Hotel Dusk. That would have been red, actually. <laughs> hindsight, hindsight. Oh man, Vanquish. I gotta, I gotta run, get around to playing that at some point. I do. I did kill the shit out of those boxes. It's true. I really do hope there's more colors than this. Alright, somebody was shooting at me there. Oh. Did their AI just break? I'm seriously curious. Because that was super weird. Whoa! And that's the chopper firing at me. Do I actually have to shoot down the chopper? Is that a thing? I can't tell if I'm hitting it. Nope. Oh! Guys, suddenly start stumbling there. That was super weird. I don't think I'm doing any damage against this guy, so I'm gonna look around and see what I can find in the environment. If there's something else I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, hey, rocket launcher. Now yeah, we're talking. That what part wasn't so cool, but you know, rocket launcher is cool. <laughs> the grayscale sector. <laughs> hey, guy! Welcome to the start of the game. Having an attack helicopter fight. Will, welcome in. How are you doing today, Will? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Try that again. At least now I know there's a rocket launcher back there. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. I hit him! I seem to be out of ammo, though. Wow! Do I need to find another rocket launcher? Probably. Oh, something shiny over here. Hello. Rocket launcher ammo! Beautiful! Oh, 
Get back, get back! Woo! Got him! Make sure to stay in cover while he does the attack run! Oh, hey, Rhino. What the hell? Three forks. See how you like this. Well, that was a short game. <coughs> what did they tell you? What did they tell you, Hayden? They said you had gone insane. Oh, but they said the same of you, didn't they? Unstable, psychotic, unfit for duty, and yet they still sent you, in spite of the fact that you are so broken. But I can fix you. Do it. Wait. Wait. That's Dark Sector, I guess. <laughs> Short game? Got stabbed? Oh no, chapter two, exposure. I guess we're still going. Yeah, that dude straight up looked like a Warframe, which is amazing. I'm seeing a lot of Nicks in chat. That's amazing. <laughs> well, he stabbed the color into us. That's amazing. I should be thanking him for that. <laughs> it's finally color. I'm actually really glad we finally got some of that. <laughs> all right, now my arm's all weird and I'm not feeling great. And I'm stumbling a little bit. It's okay, I'm just, uh, I'll just walk it off. I'm in your head. What? Excuse me? Who, who is in my head? Somebody is apparently in my head. moving very slowly, but also I want to get secrets. <laughs> it's all looking around everywhere. I think our vision's still supposed to be blurry, so hopefully it's gets it continues to get better to see after this, but who knows.
Marlow. <coughs> Marlow on. Oh, shit. Go ahead. We have you on the emergency channel. <coughs> I've been infected. The shot you gave me, it's not working. Calm down. Is Mesner dead? Uh, maybe. I detonated the charges. Are you listening to me? The booster didn't work. I need evac. I'm putting the hazmat team together right now. I want you to carry on. Rendezvous with our sleeper agent, Yargo Menzik. He's got an observation post on top of the Lazarian Port Authority. He'll have more boosters for the infection. Use them. It'll hold it off until we can get you out of there. Just follow the coastline north. I've lost all my gear. Improvise. You were always good at that. Apparently, I'm not just sick. I've got sick powers, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, Witchblade. That does kind of have a Witchblade vibe to it, doesn't it? I was one of the, like, two fans of the Witchblade TV show. It was pretty decent. <laughs> it's Krillin time! Well, also, that's totally how military radios work. Just walk up to any radio and start talking into it, and the right people will hear you. That's, that's absolutely how that works. Rid, you were the other? Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Gaia Shield, welcome in. How are you doing today? Okay, so the blur is gone, and I can actually move around now, so that's nice. Let's see. Press and release R2 to throw the glaive. Handguns are dual wield with the glaive and can be fired offhand with R1. Ooh. Oh, I guess I don't have a handgun right now, do I? Welcome in, how are you doing today? Wow! Alright! Whoa! That was really dark, but I presume it was super cool. Punch him to death. Military weapons are locked with infection proximity sensors. The weapon will burn out when the charge detonates. Alright, so I can only use weapons that I pick up temporarily now. Ooh. And then they explode after like, what, 10, 15 seconds? That's kind of brutal. <laughs> Cover! Beautiful. <laughs> hey! 
And he doesn't get to have arms anymore. He has lost his arm privileges. I've decided this. Alright. Yeah, there was a Witchblade anime too. That one I have not seen, so I don't know too much about it. Oh, I can't go up those stairs. I was curious. Crawl is a very weird movie, but also I'm very passionate about it. And Zig, I hope you are doing good. Glad to have you with us today, Zig. Hope everything is going good with you. Ooh, I found money. Apparently there's also money in this game. Yeah, whoever recorded those screams was going so, so very hard in the voice acting booth. And I respect this. Looking for secrets. Nano machines, son! Yeah, I've got a handgun in one hand and I have the, uh, the glaive in the other. I don't have any ammo for the handgun, though. However... Now I've got some handgun ammo. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's a start, though. It's a start. I'm like, can I break that? No, that is not breakable. That's unfortunate. Disarmed him. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Kroll... Kroll definitely needed a better editor than it had, because some scenes do kind of go on forever. I completely agree with you. More ammo? Good deal. Also, bloody bag with a biohazard sticker on it. Seems like a bad thing. Where do I go that way? Hang on. What's over here? Some more money. More gross bloody bags. Looking for secrets. Oh, hello. More ammo. Definitely need that. I'll take ammo. Not spectacular, but we do need it. Alright, I think that's it then. Crawl is a bit of a confusing mess of the movie. Also, that ending is such a cop-out. Very much like an early 2010s game like Black or Max Payne. Well, this is 2008, so you're not far off. Oh, that's a lot of bad guys. Woo! That got dangerous. There we go, two hits. Nice! Oh, it's got a pretty decent range, too. Nice! Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this as a weapon. Also, freak that guy right the hell out. No arms for you! Target pick up with L1 and tap R2 when lock on completes. Alright, so basically we can use the glaive to grab items that are outside uh, of our reach. I understand. This change is inevitable. What does that mean? I mean, you know, I got the weird arm now. I don't expect the weird arm to just go away. Well, let's see. Sending was perfect, no notes. Oh god. <laughs> I've seen the game Black. That one was an FPS though, wasn't it? I could be wrong. I thought that one was an FPS. Ah, there we go. Uh. 
C4 explosive, a common variety of military plastic explosive used for detonating sealed metal doors. All right, so that rather than being a secret is a thing we absolutely need to have to get forward, I believe. But still, hey, we learned a new ability. That's cool. I like that. Let's see if there's anything else around here. I'm sure we'll have a cheery ending. Oh yeah, ev and everyone lives happily ever after, definitely. Back, get to a nice safe distance, there we go. Why does the, does the protagonist's arm look like he has the world's most grody eczema? So he got injected with some sort of mysterious disease that he came to this island to uh, uh, prevent from spreading? And we don't know what the disease does, but yes, it, it has made him gross. He is gross now. Alright, so this is, yeah, this is another thing you can find, uh, mainly as secrets, is you can find upgrades for guns. Uh, fire rate increases rate of fire. Cold War weapon technology pioneered at the Bosro Research Facility. Upgrades can be applied in the underground marketplace. So I can't actually use the upgrade yet, but I have it for later on. And one of them there are diseases that gives you superpowers and makes you look super gross. It is literally the most world, world's most grody eczema. <laughs> It's okay. Long sleeve shirts, nobody will even notice. Rook's Honor, welcome in. How are you doing? All right. I appreciate the little tutorials. Oh, jeez. Well, all right. That's... <laughs> oh, no, we're alive. Thought we just died again. There's bad guys outside. How do I get out of this door here? Whoa! Whoa, get him! Oh, he had a shotty! I'm really lucky I survived that. It's too close! That's a dead end. Whoa! Alright, so those guys take more than two hits. Did you see him hop there? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Chopped off his leg and he was not a fan of that. Chloe, welcome in. I mean, what is this, 16 years old, I think? 16 is definitely not young, that's true. <laughs> I don't think this was a budget game, but this was like the studio's first game, so. You know, they weren't necessarily super experienced before this. I'd grab some more ammo. All right. Oh, crap. Actually hit him there. Oh. What the heck happened there? Oh, they're throwing gas grenades. Well, I'm not a fan of that. What 
the hell is this? Well, they're killing the crap out of those guys, that's for sure. I guess that's kind of cool. Oh god, is he in here now? Oh, he's throwing stuff at me, good. Okay! He's huge! Nintendo in this game was banned in Australia, then later released censored. I did not know that, but considering how many limbs you're chopping off in here, that makes sense. Welcome in Nintendo, and welcome in Siamese Sneeze. How are you folks doing? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Is it Rampage now? I, it could be. That does kind of look like one of the beasties from Gears of War. I'm still hoping we get a proper Gears uh, collection on PC one of these days. I don't think he's our friend. He doesn't seem like our friend. He does not feel friendly in the slightest. Got some more ammo at least. Wow! Oh. oh, I can't vault over that? What the heck? There we go. Beautiful. I should probably leave. I should probably leave. That's a dead end. Oh, uh, where is there to leave to? Hello, I should be going. Woo! Alright, hang on a second here. Hmm. It seems like, uh... Like, I, I can fix it just for myself if need be, but it feels like the audio channels are flipped. Uh, I don't know if it is. I don't know if it sounds weird for you guys, but it's definitely sounded weird for me. Uh, I'm not sure how to fix that very quickly. Um, I'm gonna have to check the back of the capture card. But for right now, there is a very low-fi solution I can do to fix it for me, at least. Much better. <laughs> Doseku, welcome in. This is pretty well lit for Dark Sector. You should have seen the beginning of the game. It was nightmarishly dark. <laughs> He's just trying to play fetch. It's cute. And yeah, I'm not very good at playing with him, though. This was proposed as a follow-up for Unreal Tournament? That's super weird. There's constantly hints that they want to bring some more of this into Warframe, but Warframe references this game relentlessly. There's so many references. Sounds horrible for you? Alright, it might just be me then. Oh god! Right, he might be leaving. Alright, cool, he took off. Alright. Where do we go to now, is the question. Like, this bridge looks promising, but... Oh, here, here we go. Not just for killing, but for puzzles, too. Brilliant. This is a DE game. This is the game that Digital Extreme has made before Warframe. So we were talking before, if you know anything about Warframe, you're going to see constant, constant references in here. Uh, for starters, just from the box, if you look at the O in Dark Sector, it's got the Lotus symbol right there. There we go. 
And also, the protagonist's name is Hayden Tenno, which, hey, where have you heard the word Tenno before? <laughs> We've got the glaive, which they actually brought into Warframe later on. Uh, one of the villains in here straight up looks like a Warframe, which is super weird. Now that you mentioned it, sound is flipped, but it's not that noticeable, like I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't bring it up. I'll see if I can fix it before the next stream, but that is super weird. I apologize. That font is pretty cool. Also does very much look like a PS3 uh, era font. It's got all those, like, leaks out of it. Because it's hardcore. Alright. Check over here for secrets. Looks like a perfect place to hide stuff. Nope, nothing. There is a manual. I do have the manual for this game. Like I said, all it has is the control reference, really. Not tremendously useful. Uh, oh, is that a lock? I think that's a lock. Cha! Hey Stubby, welcome in, how are you doing? Uh, one other thing, we mentioned this right at the start of the stream, but some of you folks might not have seen it. Uh, the main character, if you hear his voice, he's actually voiced by Michael Rosenbaum, probably best known as Lex Luthor from Smallville. How he got involved with this game, I have no idea, but uh, yeah, the main character is Michael Rosenbaum. <laughs> As hardcore as a try-hard preteen, it does kind of feel like that, it's true. Alright. Chapter 3, Baggage Claim. That is not a very hardcore name for a chapter. But they're trying, they're trying. Oh, you're about to tell me he's Clancy Brown? He does do a lot of voice acting. It's true. But not this one specifically. Decent rain effects, though. I kind of like those. Uh, keeping an eye open for secrets. They are pretty well hidden in this game, I'd say. Maybe that monster's name, a uh, mad they lost his luggage? That seems reasonable. I'd be pretty mad about that, too. I love that I can just throw where I know they're going to be when they stand up. Oh, didn't quite work there. Did he actually actively duck it? Ruth. There we go. That took him down. Got more moving up though. Hey! No grenades! Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Shadow the Hedgehog! There's a classic of the uh, try hard hardcore. Some more ammo. Not that I'm using my gun all that much. It said that there's a key in there too? That's interesting. Are there like lock boxes in here? It's interesting. Oops. That's all bad guys. Ammo. These guys have lots of grenades. Very well stocked with the damn things. Nice dodge, I'll give him that. Come on! 
fuck it up with the pranks. I think I tagged him there. Dang it! Holy shit, they are judicious with those things. Alright, that one's not even gonna hit me. Like I'm gonna need to advance at some point. There we go. Ooh. I saw his hand go fly in there. Oh jeez. Beautiful. Headshots. I don't know what happened to that guy there. He dead? He's not dead. Oh, hey! There was a guy right there! The whole time? Well, crap! That guy's dead. Get meleeed! I perform a power throw for quadruple damage. Hold R2 then release when the reticle changes color. Let's try that out. So, here's a normal throw. And... That's a normal throw. Come on, the, the timing on this is pretty tricky. That's a power throw. That's quad damage. But the timing is real tricky to get. But quad damage is pretty spectacular. I do want to get that whenever possible. Must be absolutely fanging that glaive hard for it to come back like a boomerang. I got, I got uh, talent there. <laughs> got the moves. Tenoskoom. <laughs> hey, Booyaga. Yeah, basically the prequel to Warframe in every way except uh, the canon. But it feels like it, though. <laughs> Board Jams, welcome in. It's, it's kind of Warframe. It's made by Digital Extremes. But there's that, at least. Why quad damage? Because... Quake? I guess? I'm not sure what else to say aside from maybe beside maybe because Quake. The quad damage is nice. I like quad damage. I enjoy quad damage. Let's head through back here. This seems a little more protected. Perhaps? Around for more secrets. Give me those secrets. Most of the secrets are just more gun upgrades. And, like, you can't buy the gun upgrades. You have to find them, so that's kind of important. Hey, Sin City family, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? What were you doing today? Chris Technician, welcome in as well. How are you doing today? They're yeah, not double, not triple. Quadruple, I guess. Let's see. Quake did love that quad damage. They really did, most definitely. Unless DE says otherwise, this is canon to Warframe for me. It's just too similar. It feels so close. And like I said, the number of references is just bizarre. There's so many references. Surely they wouldn't throw in just dozens and dozens of references if they didn't want you to uh, refer back to it, right? Do I have to hit that with a power throw? Aha! I need to use power throws to break open uh, chains for some reason. Gotcha. Oh, oh, my head is pounding. 
going to be fine. Don't worry about him. <laughs> I'm doing good, Chris. Thanks for asking. Didn't report today. I had air fryer cheeseburgers and cheesy hash browns. It was very delicious. The prehistory of it could basically be. All right, here's another weapon upgrade. Accuracy decreases recoil and spread of fire. Cold War weapon technology pioneered at the Vosro Research Facility. Upgrades can be applied in the underground marketplace. And some sort of crate right here. With more ammo. Yeah, just more ammo, but I'll take that. All right. Yeah, no, we, we we heard before that you're not supposed to get bitten, but now that's uh, apparently what happens in real time when you get bitten right there. <laughs> chicken and broccoli or broccoli and chicken? I suppose it depends on the quantities, but that's still tasty. Hope you enjoyed. All right, where are we going now? Where do we go from here? All right, on this way. Gotcha. Glad we snagged another upgrade there. That's nice. Also glad I'm getting some practice with the power throw. Let's see. I have no idea what Warframe is, and by now I'm afraid to ask. It is a uh, multiplayer live service free-to-play online game. Uh, it is, as of right now, my most played Steam game ever. Uh, if you like third-person action games, I'd say give it a try. The combat is just really amazing. That's what uh, kept me playing it for so long, is it's really enjoyable to play. Let's see. It's so sad Warframe became Frankenstein Monster with all those uncoherent subplay. Uh, I mean, they need better playlists to get people playing them, but, like, I like a lot of the things in there. Like, uh, the whole thing where you're flying around in a ship, I want some more support for that. I love that mode. That mode's amazing. Double beef and cheddar, that's delicious. Oh man, flamingos feeding their babies is super cute to see, most definitely. Saturn, welcome in. Happy New Year to you as well, Saturn. Hope you're doing well. We got bad guys. Come on! Stop it with the frags already. Didn't actually hit anything there. Got him with the quad damage! Or no, that was only a regular throw, dang it. Got hit real bad there. Oh, there's quad damage. Beautiful. Hey, you can't actually hold a power throw. You just have to press it with exactly the right timing. I think I need to move up. Ooh, it's that guy there, though. Ooh. There we go. I was having a real bad day. You can tell when I get the power throw because it turns gold. Which is really nice. Wanna move in closer. Got him! Thank you. 
Oh, it bounced. Beautiful. One shot. Oh, crap. Woo! It stings. Feels like it has a little bit of a wider hitbox there, too, but that could just be my imagination. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, wow! Keep it some, I love it. Alright. The phrasing, all the chicken I could find, makes me imagine raiding the house in the vicinity in search of more chicken. <laughs> Looting is very important skill to have, most definitely. <laughs> Leftover egg noodles mixed with mozzarella cheese. Leftover diced canned tomatoes. That sounds really nice. You can definitely make a good dinner out of that. Let's see. Why release at a particular moment for the quadruple? What's wrong with holding and charging until it flashes? What's good enough for DMC is good enough for me. I definitely would prefer it if you could hold a power throw, but you know, for some reason you need a very specific timing to do it. Oh, that sounds like a cozy Sunday rin. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I definitely don't want to mess with that thing. Ooh. I don't know how I missed that guy either. And of course, he's just throwing grenades. Chopped him clean in half! Beautiful. Alright, can I take out this gun turret nest? Is that a thing? No, I don't appear to actually be able to get inside of it. That's weird. I heard somebody mention a frag there. I've got to be careful. Oh, hey dude. That was a gas grenade. Stop using biological warfare, you jerk! Or is that everybody? That might be everybody. There's nothing I can do about this turret nest? So. Oh. I would consider that taken care of, yes. I like how the guy's like, oh, I don't have a lot of options here. Because he did not, in fact. <laughs> what is the shirt for today? This is a rare day that I'm wearing a shirt that has nothing on it. Uh, this is a new shirt company I'm trying out that has uh, shirts that are tailored a little bit longer in the front than they are in the back. Or uh, people with protruding stomachs like myself. So, uh, so far it's very comfy. I like it a lot. I may be buying more from this company. Oh, let's see. It's like shooting a bow. You can't pull the string for too long for a precise shot because muscle fatigue. Oh, that, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. I like that idea. I wish they mentioned it in game, but that actually explains it pretty well. The first blade lifts. The second blade separates. The third blade mocks the victim as it flies back. <laughs> The shirt of the void. I mean, I've already got the void juice. I mean, as well get the void shirt too. Is that a taper winding? What the hell? It's super weird. All right. So, do we have any secrets around here? We do not appear to. All right. Where are we heading to next? Uh, the grate over here. The grate over here, probably. Oh, ammo box here too. Almost missed that. Not that I'm using my gun in the slightest, but should I ever want to, I'm gonna want to have plenty of ammo for it. 
I have to go outside later today. You're not excited having to walk around in minus 18C. Holy crap. It's bad times. I hope you stay warm. Stay dry, too. That's always a concern this time of year. All right. So we've already found the sewer level. That was quick. Well, that sounded bad. Zero percent warm. That is not warm at all. Tremendously not warm, as a matter of fact. A little ladder there, but they didn't otherwise. Let's see. The Skull and Bones game? I don't know. It sounds like it's primarily like meant to be PvP. That's not really my jam. But I'll, I'll check it out at least. You know, I check out basically everything. Grandpa D, what is your situation? More ammo? More ammo. Alright. Thought I saw something blinking back there. Ooh, I did. power increases weapon damage. I like that. Charge your glaive by throwing it into electrical arcs. Alright, let's try that. Okay, that's pretty cool. A shock glade. It doesn't last long, but that is the thing. Try to can you're not missing out on anything? I was not a big fan of G Fuel when I tried it out. Not really my jam either. <laughs> Group of D is designated so because they are D A D. <laughs> I definitely have been killing these guys. On the regular. I seem to be very good at it, as a matter of fact. Or they're just very bad at, you know, everything. That's a possibility, too. I don't want to rule that out. Hello? Oh. Uh, hey, guys. Oh. That probably would have been cool if I could have seen any of it. Isn't there a... There is a flashlight in the game, I forgot about that. Thank goodness for flashlights. And thank goodness for quad damage, too. Thank goodness for both of those things. A little bit of money right there, I'll take that. I'm like, didn't I remember seeing something about a flashlight in the instruction manual? Thank goodness for that. Some of these probably won't have open caskets, but that's their problem. I wish them all a peaceful rest, and I hope that they can find all of the bits of them to put in the correct box. I don't know that they will, but you know, I, I hope they can find it. That'd be good for them, I imagine. Whoop. Whoa! Oh, he dodged! I don't know why I keep, like, hitting... Getting one melee hit and then missing the next one. It's really weird. Oh, 
Whew. Those guys are actually pretty dangerous. And there was lots of them. I don't like either of those things. You can tell exactly when this game came out by their use of old methods over the shoulder zoom cam. You really can. It feels very obvious in retrospect. Alright, so presumably we have to use that electricity somewhere, right? For some sort of puzzle, I imagine? Let's see. Alright. Got electrified glaive, what do we do with it? Something back here. I think we missed, but I think we have to hit that with the electrified glaive, maybe? I think that's how we got the last one opened. Yeah, you can't just hit it very hard. Gotta be the electro glaive. Feels like Division 2 somehow, now that I've been playing so much Division 2, every uh, third person shooter is gonna feel a little bit like Division. I'm constantly looking to see if I can spot enemies on my mini-map, I'll tell you that much. There we go. Very cool. The esoteric order of Dagon, those bastards. <laughs> Did feel a little bit like uh, the Innsmouth look on those guys, I can tell you. Legend of Zelda 2, that game is so hard. I had that as a kid, never got very far in there. Hey, Damage Plushy! Welcome in, Plushy. How are you doing today? How was, uh, how have you been? What have you been playing recently? Tell me everything. And I see you have redeemed emote only mode. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Uh, do I remember how to do that? There we go. You got a ring, thank you. I appreciate it. If you could turn it off and so I don't leave it on for the next two hours, that'd be cool. <laughs> and hey, Rambo Rachel, number one. Welcome in, Rambo Rachel. How are you doing today? And what have you been playing recently? And thank you so much for the gift sub to Damage Plushie. Gift sub number four in the channel. I appreciate all of the generosity. Very cool of you. Hope you are having a great weekend. All right, and hey, new room. Enjoy your emote only mode, folks. Show me some cool emotes, I must see them. There, we got an electrical thingy there. Is that for a puzzle? I'm down, all right. We can use ladders, that's fun. Uh, let's see, what do we have in this exceedingly dark room? Flashlight doesn't seem to stay on for very long. Oh jeez. Come here! Come here, you! Bastard! There we go. Glaive seems to do really good damage to those guys. I assume that's how you're intended to fight them. Jeez! That is some frightening sound design. That noise was really goddamn creepy. Oh god, there's more coming! Beautiful, I killed one with a backswing there. I like that. It is really dark in here though. Think we're good for the moment? Nope. That was really neat. I killed five guys in two throws.
Budgies. There, but apparently it killed me. <laughs> oh, good! I have to do it all of it over again. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for sharing some amazing emotes in emote only mode. I appreciate that. I should definitely snag the electricity this time. See if I can do anything with that when uh, shit starts going down. Make sure my flashlight's on. I can actually see. Whoa! Right there! Alright, so the electricity does not last long. It's not like I'm gonna be using it to fight this whole room of dudes. Nothing like that. It didn't work great. Can you get some distance. That's normal throw. Normal throw. Whew. Oh, jeez. Charge right there. There's a power throw. Shit. Cool finisher, at least. That's neat. I was really hoping that it hit somebody there. I just tell him to shut up. Seems weird. Actually, kind of hard to hit. Chips? They are relentless. Holy crap! Dodge. Run. Get some more distance. And they're right behind me. better handle on this. I'm gonna feel like I'm struggling a little bit. Beautiful. Die already! No. Tagged him there, that's good. Whew, we didn't take a break there. <laughs> Very heavy Resident Evil vibes. I think when this game came out, a lot of people were comparing it to Resident Evil 4, because it does have a very Resident Evil 4 feel to it in a lot of ways. Oh jeez. Quick user Tenno powers! I really wish I had Tenno powers. I need to slide boost. That's that's what I need here. <laughs> Turns out the Hulk wearing pants is not related to fashion sense. Shock. Yeah, where's Lotus to tell me what to do? I need that. 
Did you play the first Uncharted? Not on stream yet, but I do have most, if not all, of the Uncharted games, and I would like to play that one of these days. Uh, plus, you finish Omori. Oh, man, I always wanted to try Omori. I've heard such good things about it. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. Let's see, how many third-person shooters give the ability to change the shoulder? I know we just played one pretty recently where we could uh, switch shoulders. I don't remember which one it was, though. But yeah, it wasn't too long ago we were playing a third-person shooter where we could switch shoulders. I think I never actually did it, but I had the ability to. I think that's the problem, is that's one of those abilities where if you don't use it frequently, you're going to forget it exists. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. This place is kind of the worst, and I would like to leave. Also, what's up with that weird chanting in the background? That is super spooky. Hey, Abstractism! I'm doing good. How about yourself? How are you doing today? That was a... That was a grenade. Oops. Wrong button! Double shot! Fires secondary bullet on each shot. We are finding some upgrades here. I appreciate that. Whew. We still don't have any way to apply them yet, but we have been finding them. So. I'm pretty sure MGS5 does. That sounds familiar. I could dramatically break that and grab some more ammo. You gotta have patience. You gotta have patience and timing. After touch. After throwing the glaive, press and hold R2 again and use the R stick to adjust the flight of the glaive. Really? I have after touch in here? This is a part of what you are. All right, let's try it out. Hmm. I think because there's a wall right there, it's just bouncing off. We get some more space. Oh no, wait, wait, hang on a second. Oh no! I have to use the controller tilt for it. <laughs> I'm like, why is the right stick not doing anything? Oh no, nope, I gotta use the six axis. I have to tilt the controller if I want to use aftertouch. <laughs> oh no! Was that the man in the wall? It sounded kind of like him. He is a scary, scary dude, though. <laughs> Bolos, you're a very patient person, as long as what you're waiting for happens soon, I feel that. 23F out by you, Chris. That is very chilly. The six axis of evil. Hopefully I won't need to use it for tremendously much, because that is really hard to control. Really, really hard to control. I mean, it can be done, but I'm not going to have a great time with it. It's all in oh, jeez. that <laughs> so you know when it works right it's pretty neat <laughs> I appreciate that gyro control I've seen a few games that do, do gyro control well not many of them Splatoon if you're gonna play a Splatoon game use gyro control trust me please aside from that there's not a lot of them oh jeez. <laughs> PS3 
did really like using uh, Aftertouch. I mean, a lot of the time I don't actually need to Aftertouch. Kind of whip it. There we go. That's fine. What damage? There we go. Oh, I miss. Whoa! Whoa! Where did he come from? You are dead. All right, was not expecting that. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! I, I'm sufficiently surprised, I must say. The Heavenly Sword is the one other game we played on stream that I can remember having aftertouch controls. And that one, I didn't like it, but it was okay. It, it worked out all right. It wasn't the worst thing. We made it work, we got through the game. It's fine. Where did that guy come from, though? That's great. Oh, there he is. I see him now. See if I can get the jump on him. Come on, I see you. Where that boy? Oh jeez! I think I killed him? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I'll take credit for it though. That's a grenade. There we go. Oh, God. Perfect. Oh, just out of my range, I think. Let's start advancing then. Yeah, that was it. We had we had the ability to guide arrows, and when it worked, it was really cool. I did like that a lot. Gyro controls are so 2010. <laughs> I haven't played Super Mario Galaxy before. Uh, I played Splatoon 2 and 3, and both of them, I think, are superior games with gyro controls. That whole game, all of Heavenly Sword, was a very, very silly game. Oh, hello. Is right there. Did not get him with the air protection, I don't think. Or with the uh, power throw, sorry. That got him, though. I'm happy about that. Hello. This was a little bold of me. Worked out okay, though. Oh, that's another gas grenade. Rude! I can't really see through the gas either. That's... Oh, hey, buddy! Where'd you come from? How did that not hit you? I think I got him on the uh, return there. I think that's too far. I don't even know what I hit there, but somebody was screaming. Oh, 
All right, let's actually shoot a gun then. Ooh. Oh shit, gas. That's unpleasant. Ragdolled the fuck out of me there. Oh, and I gotta do the whole sequence over again, don't I? Yeah, I do. Hi, <laughs> Shira! Welcome in. How are you doing today, Shira? Hope you are doing well. Glad to have you with us. Oh, jeez. I definitely need to be a little bit more willing to use my gun. There's the guy! I see him now. Need to figure out how to kill those guys more consistently. The shield guys, anyway. Shira, how are you doing today? How's your weekend going? And Emperor, thank you so much for the tier 3 sub to Shira right there. Give sub number 1,505 in the channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Prime Emperor. Very cool of you. And Shenanin. Thank you very much for the 54-month resub right there. It's like 27 twice. Is this a stealth level? This looks like Shade Stealthy. It's a cover shooter, but I'm not spectacular at those either, especially the older ones. Shenanin, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. And also, Shira has redeemed Invest in a Harvester sequel. Um, I think it, we're going to have at least one level in Harvester that is controlled basically entirely through Aftertouch. It's like the whole level you're going to have to tilt your controller to control your guy. Now, what if you don't have a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Knocked down the shield and then just shot him until he died. Now, what if you don't have a controller that has a 6-axis... Uh, well, it turns out we didn't actually program for a uh, gyro anyway, so just tilt your controller and then we'll just make your character move randomly and occasionally he'll do what you hoped he was going to do, but most of the time he'll just do random stuff. It's fine. And everyone will just say, oh no, I hate uh, gyro controls, and we'll be like, yeah, they're... that hardware is just so bad. We will blame all of it on the hardware. Because that's how you get away with it. I think it was actually dead. Oh, there's like a barrel right there I hit. It was a straight up dodge there. That's a grenade! That one's a loss. See, that's fun when it works. I like it when it actually works out. That's pretty cool. Harvester 2 needs quadruple damage. Quad damage. I would like that. Jerry, you remember the cover of the game? This one? We got that too. Although it is covered with stickers because GameStop for some reason decided it needed eight stickers on it. I'm still working on getting all of them off. Harvester 2 must be played with the Steam controller only. Don't worry, I will, uh, before I put the game out, I'll buy up all the stock and uh, sell them through eBay at huge markups. We call that a side hustle. <laughs> What's wrong with the Steam Controller? The Steam Controller is really good. I think the joke is that you can't buy the Steam Controller anymore. Yeah, it's discontinued. I like the Steam Controller, but yeah, there's no way to buy them new anymore. They stopped manufacturing them, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's see. James Moore, you played this one before. Did you like it back in the day? I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. 
Um, head around here. There we go. I ducked! Rude. That's a good aim. Not a very long grenade throw. For some reason I thought it was going to be longer. There we go. Got one of those dudes there. Oh, there's still gas there. Gas bad. I saw a guy up there. Deal with him in a bit. Oh, damn it! As he gasses me again. Rude. with the uh, flight time does make this uh, a little bit lesser. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Hit. Ooh, don't want to get ragdolled again. We got to reload though. Jesus! Everyone has so many grenades in this game. Headshot! Whew. I think that's everybody there. <laughs> T-Gamer, I'm doing good. How about yourself, T-Gamer? How's everything going with you? I heard Stadio is a decent controller. This game had a load of potential. It didn't live up to the hype until Warframe came out. Yeah, Warframe is so good. I love that one. <laughs> T-Gamer, you like this one? Nice. This is my first time playing it. I did not play Battletech on stream yet. I wouldn't know where to start with the Battletech series, honestly. There's so many of them. Yeah, it's the, there is little indicators for where you're getting shot at, but they're kind of not spectacular. Alright, is that everybody? Are we good? That was so many dudes. That was so, so many dudes. This area had maybe too many dudes in it. Is that where we're going, or are we going back here? Let's check back here first. You know I need me some secrets. Nothing to see back here. That may be over here? That's suspicious. I bet I know how to get back there too. Grab the ammo first. Um. Oh yeah, I have to after touch. Oops. Oh, it's a grenade. I keep hitting the wrong button there. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Oh, I let go at the wrong moment. Oh, it's. Uh. Oh, hit the fence there. A little too low. This is tricky. This is tricky. Oh, jeez. 
little bit too far there. Oh, this is really miserably hard. I don't even know if I want to get in there that badly. Hopefully I don't need to get in there. <laughs> On C64, oh geez, that would be a pretty interesting choice. As far as where to start. Oh, I got some more ammo over here in me, so I'll take that. Honestly, impressive for its age. There was a lot of things on uh, C64 that were ahead of their time. They've made it sound like it's some sort of like Germany analog. I forget what they called this country, but it is a fictional country. I can tell you that much, at least. Alright, let's check down here. This feels like the way we're supposed to be going. Oh, uh, maybe not. There is some money. I'll take that. Aha! And a clip extender. Ex expands clip capacity for more shots between reloads. Oh god, that means we do have to hit the switch with Aftertouch. Oh god. Yeah, every time I get uh, one of the upgrades, they mention Cold War tech as well. So that's a thing. Alright. So I am gonna have to hit that switch with the Glaive then. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be really tricky. Oh my god. Let me make sure I'm lined up at least. No, up, 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 up! Alright, we're right where we need to be at least. Was so close. <laughs> they really expect me to be precise with this. And I keep overshooting, of course, because this is not exactly precise controls. This is going to take a while. we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> please, please tell me this game doesn't have a lot of aftertouch puzzles in it. I could not handle it. <laughs> it's tricky! <laughs> Ooh, I hope you like my time at Porsche. That seems like a super chill game. Thank you for the GG's, everyone. That was stressful. <sighs> Lower your weapons, Onishka. Yargo, you've got something for me? I do. I have you updated orders from the AD. I have also arranged for you to acquire weapons and explosives. No, thanks. You don't want to take it, but you don't have choice. <coughs> this will slow your infection. It will buy you time. Show me what you've got. Your harbor explosion has released the infected Mesner had captured. We believe Mesner has planned to collect them, bring them into the open, so his Lesdrian thugs can capture them. He had Viktor Sudek repair old Soviet ULF transmitter. These transmitters were used in the 80s to draw in the infected. Like moths to a flame. <coughs> oh dear. Are you paying attention? This transmitter is hidden in an old bunker inside the Lesdrian catacombs. You will enter via church. You are to disrupt Mesna's operation by destroying transmitter. Take the sat phone. How am I going to destroy the transmitter? Take this to the underground. They'll give you the explosives you need. Guns too. 
without the governors on them. If Price is right. Even as world drowns, rats will swim. I hope you won't find the sewers unpleasant. <laughs> oh, more sewers, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh god, Lifeline, yes. Lifeline is on the list of games I will never play on stream because it's just... It's just busted. It's just incredibly, spectacularly busted. And I want absolutely nothing to do with that. Uh, hang on a sec. I want to see if I can do something real quick. Give me a moment. Um, can I see here? Um, Lifeline is great content, but also, you know, kind of miserable <laughs> is the thing. And I'm I'm not a huge fan of that. All right, let me let me check something out. I want to see. I think there is a way to do this. I just want to make sure I can uh, do this right. This works. I think this will be handy for right now, anyway. No, that's not the right thing. Um. And Hope, welcome in. How are you doing today, Hope? Hope everything is going well with you. Glad to have you with us, as always. Um, all right, nothing there. Yeah, I thought there would be a way to do that. All right, never mind. I was going to try and do something cool, but I could not. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one side of me, is that is the one. The one where you control it entirely with your voice, but the voice control is just terrible. Doing all right, wasn't expecting you to pull out pre-alpha Warframe. I mean, Warframe is my most played game on Steam ever, so I found this, I'm like, I have to try this. I've got to at least check this out. And so far, it's been pretty interesting. Not spectacular, but interesting at least. I'm down for that. Some glow in there. Oh, there's a lock right there. But if that's locked, what is this? Oh, that's a box, actually. All right, let's crack this open. Yeah. And more ammo in there, of course. Oh, those are grenades. I thought those were keys. A weird icon for a. Uh... Oh yeah, they got the lotus symbol right there. <laughs> That's so goofy. Shoot left stomach! Oh, God. Hey, Demon Grin, been a while. How have you been doing? Hope everything is good with you. Let's take out that lock as well. That one we can just normal throw into it. A grenade may not be a key, but they can both open doors. This is true. This is true. <laughs> And Demon Grin has invested in a Harvester sequel. So, clearly the Glaive is going to need to be a weapon in Harvester 2, because of course there's going to need to be combat since Harvester 1 had combat. And what it is is that it always comes back to you. Um, except the problem is it has a 37 mile range. Uh, so if you throw it, it doesn't bounce into anything. Uh, it's going to be a good, you know, 45 minutes before it comes back to you, minimum. Uh, so just be very careful when you throw it. You know, if you actually want to keep using it again. Also, you know, you, you need to press a button precisely to catch it when it comes back. Uh, otherwise, it might just chop your arm off. So be careful for that, too. Danger abounds. <laughs> All right. Hello, sewer level. Let's see if there's anything down here. And turn on my flashlight, too. I'm glad I have one of those still. The dog meat effect! Basically. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, 45 minutes real time, absolutely. I hope patience is your strong point. <laughs> That's the look of Steve waiting for the claim to return. It is supposed to come back, right? Pretty sure I threw it at some point. Where did it go, though? Oh, did I just... I just, uh, went backwards somehow. I got completely turned around and, uh... I think that was the same ladder, right? Yeah, somehow I got completely turned around and went up the same ladder. I believe. Alright. Where are we going for realsies, then? Oh, this way? No, yeah, there's nothing there. Um... Is there somewhere to go in here? Oh, there's a door right there. Well, hard to tell in the dark, I suppose. Yeah, if you save while it's out there, the timer will pick up where you, where you left off. No cheating! No cheating in this game! Chapter 4, Moths to the Flame. Alright. There we go. Oh shit. That seems bad. But hey, money! Yay, money! Uh, and some more ammo. Did you pick that up? Played this for a little bit and hated something with the controls and never touched again, sitting in my closet somewhere. Fair enough. I am more than happy to play it for you then. We got the transmitter gear set up. Let's hope this works. Shit. Let's hope it doesn't. Cut the chatter. Grab a C. Any contact with our friend? No, sir. No contacts. Misner wants him dead. Gas him. Smoke him up. Do not let him interfere with the collection. That sounds bad. I don't want any of that. Lots of money in this area. Kinda weird, but I'll take it. Nothing in this little area. I don't know if this is exactly gonna be my favorite game ever, but so far, so far it's pretty cool. The glaive is kinda fun, although after touch isn't exactly my favorite mechanic. Alright, doing pretty good on money now, I think. We haven't ever actually had to buy anything, so... I don't know, hopefully this is a lot? Hard to say. Until we, you know, actually get to the store. Being back over here? Yeah. Are those yellow orange bags are the same ones in Division? There is a lot of garbage bags in Division. A weird amount of garbage bags in Division. Where did they all come from? Oh, hello. What is this? Enter Black Market. Let's get this straight, Yankee Doodle. You stay on good side of bars like Monkey, and maybe I toss you some peanuts. Okay. Let's start with some C4. For Yargo, I'll give this Semtex, but welding off governors? Oh, it is tricky business. Cash up front for that. He offered me peanuts? I think? <laughs> Hellion, welcome back! Alright, so... Let's see, I imagine I've got nothing in my locker right now. Nope, nothing in my locker. Alright, so let's go back. Bye! Wow, alright, so I'm not doing great on money. What does he sell? He's got a SMG for the handgun slot. Uh, which somehow has lower fire rate? What, bigger clip size? Uh, he's got an AK-74. And, ooh, a shotgun. I cannot afford any of that, though. Upgrade... 
I do have a bunch of upgrades to apply if we wanted to. Can we buy Nukies? If not, what kind of street vendor is he? he kind of doesn't have that kind of uh, heat, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I haven't played that one before, Halion. I'm familiar with Koro Q, though. I haven't played that much of that one myself, though. After this, select it. We've got fire rate, accuracy, fire power, and double sh double shot and clip extender. I don't think I really want to apply anything because this seems like the uh, starter gun. I'll probably hold off on that. We can sell the upgrades, but that's a terrible idea because you can only get them from uh, finding them in the environment. Can sell grenades, can sell my gun. Don't want to sell that gun until I get a new one, but I can't do that, theoretically. Fighting game from 96, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. All right. This does, this, this section right here feels very Resident Evil 4. That's just where I was before, though, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's jump down. I'm gonna jump down. Whoa! And we're fighting. Woo! Got one of them. Ooh, I got a Chivo! Yay, Chivo! Somehow did not hit that guy. That got him! Oh, dang it! Trying to be fancy and I should not be. Got one guy with that grenade. Lovely. Oh, that was a gas canister. Ooh, there is that gas. I'm like, where did it hit? I didn't seem to be taking any damage there. Jeez, all right, getting really aggressive with the gas there. Dang it! That hit me from over there. Wait until I get locked on. Ooh. Let's not seem to work like that. And there's another gas grenade. Nice. There we go. Ooh, they're destroying my cover. That's unfortunate. Oh shoot. Oh. Hey. No! Wow, two hits. No, unfortunately I can't even I can't even lock on to enemies with the glaive, which is kind of unfortunate. I would kind of like it if there was a lock-on in this game, but there is not. I'm taking that guy out first. Ooh. Ooh. 
give it a second for my uh, health to regen. Headshots do seem to be single hit kills, though. I appreciate that. There's a gas grenade. Man, the death streams are wild. Big respect to whoever did the uh, voice acting for them. Because that guy is going hard. Whew. That got super dangerous. Hear that gas? I don't know where it was, but I'm moving just to be safe. There's the second wave coming in. Of course, that guy dodges. Jeez! Whoop, nope. Trying to get him to take cover there. So that gas grenade, get out of the way. Oh god, there he is. Dead. Oh, come on, dodge! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the corner! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I was trying to dodge in every direction, but uh, I was just bumping into invisible walls. Yeah, the amount of bullet used in this economy? Wild. Got him. I hear gas. Guys, bad news. Alright, there he is. There he is. I have no idea how I'm supposed to kill this guy. And I got shot by the other dudes. He didn't even kill me there. Oh, oh maybe I could try killing him with Aftertouch. I don't know. Aftertouch is not, not great to control, but that's not a terrible idea. Woo. That's gas. Didn't see it, but I heard it. Get a Chivo for uh, headshots. Nice. There he is! Shit! I don't really have time to hit him, but the glaive is the problem. Quit. Shit! No, oh, don't, don't! What are you doing? we go <laughs> so in that case I hit him with a power throw and that seemed to stun him for long enough that I could just shoot him in the knee till he died that's the, the way I killed one of the shield guys before that's it does not consistent it doesn't always seem to stun him for very long but in that case it worked thank you for the GG's but I don't have an auto save yet so we still have to get through the sequence There 
go. Got that guy finally. Alright, hopefully just a few more here. There we go. Oh, I see another dude hiding there. We're not. Rip. Landed right where I was. some more ammo. Oh, there's still somebody there! Oh, how did that not hit? I think I've got a guess there. I mentioned before that for power throws, it seems like it has a wider hitbox. I was guessing because it had a wider hitbox, it bounced off the wall there since he was right in the corner. How do you enjoy the game overall? It's not bad. It's it's interesting. The glaive adds an interesting element to it. But also, I'm not spectacular at console shooters like this. Because I always prefer to be aiming with mouse and keyboard. So I'm not uh, I'm not fantastic at doing it with a stick. As I'm sure you folks probably noticed. Right, let's explore around. If there's any goodies stash around here. Not seeing anything, but you never know. For anybody who's joining us too, you may notice that uh, uh, there's guns on the ground and it says I can pick them up. The reason I don't is because they've got a uh, some sort of anti-theft tag on them that makes them explode after like 15 seconds. Oh, can I use the enemy's gun? Yes, for very, very short amount of time. Are you fighting the CDA for Monsters Inc? Probably. New head cannon found. No one over 20 is fantastic console shooters? I mean, I was in college for Halo. There was a lot of people there that were fantastic at uh, console shooters, but I could never really get the hang of it. I was never really a, uh, a uh, controller guy. Uh oh Don't get on that turret. Don't you dare get on that turret. Ooh. Got him! That was a little too close though. Anybody else? Moving up! Oh crap! There's another shield guy there. Shit! Alright, shield guy is first priority. It's tricky, but it can be done. Whew. There we go. All right. It would be fun if you could pick up the enemy weapon, trigger the self-destruct because of it, and then throw the enemies like your needs. I mean, the good thing is the explosion doesn't hurt you. It just makes the gun non-functional. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the gun killing you because it was in your hands when you were holding it, when uh, went off. That's good at least, but... Oh. That another gun nest up there? That's dangerous. Oh, can I commandeer the gun? Yes! Dangerous, but yeah, it can't be done. Whew. Get 
That shotgun guy was super dangerous. Got him! Yeah, so this does feel a bit Metal Gear. I think I mentioned before a lot of reviewers at the time compared this to uh, Resident Evil 4, which I could definitely see uh, them feeling that vibe. But I think we're heading in there next. I bet we're heading in there next. Let me look around here first. Aha! Puncture! Shots travel through flesh targets to strike targets behind. All right, I like the sound of that. Once we get some halfway decent guns, we're definitely gonna have to do some upgrading. Also, once we, you know, actually get some cash. Remember, they're not enemies, they're flesh targets. Some guy in a hat, welcome in. Whew. And hey, we found a save point. I don't know what that was, but I probably don't want to fu uh, fuck with it. I know that much. Also, what is going on here? Cause that's, that's pretty weird and creepy too. Just a uh, landscape though. All right. More ammo, get some more money. Turn on my flashlight, because this room is a little bit spooky. Hello? Why did it get all creepy all of a sudden? There we go. Giant flesh target. Oh, God. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, uh, hey, dudes. Like someone may have summoned the horde. terrifying what the shit <laughs> I'll give them this they made the enemies sound creepy as fuck I can definitely I, I think we can agree on that at least Ooh. sounds like they're all constipated they might be Uh, 
That felt very Resident Evil. Uh, Alright, what do we do now? Ooh, I think I saw a door over here. Oh, alright, that turned on gas up there? You know, I need to ignite the gas somehow, possibly? Let's look around and see what we got. I'm assuming that's what we gotta do, is we gotta ignite that somehow. Oh, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, hello. Reload speed reduces reload time. Awesome. More upgrades. Unfortunately, as you saw, guns have a limited number of upgrade slots, so I can't just slam all of these on one gun. Ah, I assume electricity is what we're going to use for this. More ammo, don't mind if I do. Alright. Hey, that dog quacks, welcome in. How are you doing today? Alright. Oh! I've got a fire glaive now. Okay, can I use that to burn this stuff? Yes! So whatever that creepy black stuff is, it burns if we can set it on fire. That's kind of rad. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you mean, Lost. Those things really freaked me out, too. Amazing sound design right there. Not every game company out there takes sound design seriously, but the ones that do make some really memorable experiences like that. And suddenly we're in a spooky haunted house. I'm doing good, that duck quacks. Glad to hear you're feeling better. Yeah, seriously, where is Venom? Please don't make me fight Venom. That guy's tough. Oh shit. Back! Did he just dissolve? What the shit? Oh, we're up here now, alright. Good to know. More money, nice. This evolutionary process is ongoing. We assume the later form to be extermination of the civilian population. Hi. Experts in Moscow believe the disease is bloodborne. Pass through a bite of scratch. Infected subjects rapidly transform in appearance and behavior. Within minutes, they will become violent and unpredictable. They cannot be reasoned with. Hours later, they begin an exterior transformation. The flesh begins to form a sort of metallic crust. This evolutionary process is ongoing. We assume the later forms to be incredibly difficult to destroy. Therefore, extermination of the civilian population is an immediate imperative. Of course, of course. Let's see, in terms of sound design, one game gave me the creeps all the time, even if nothing was there. Oh god, System Shock 2. I'm probably wrong on this, but I feel like System Shock 2 is the first game that really went all in on having incredibly creepy sound design. And like, yeah, when I played System Shock 2, I the whole time I was on the edge of my seat, like... More than creepy stuff happens, you're waiting for creepy stuff to happen. It's so good. Absolutely a masterclass on how to use uh, sound design to scare the shit out of players. I love it. I love it. Alright, head in here. Exterminatus! I think this planet might need it. I think Earth might need Exterminatus at this point. Alright. We need to get the fire glaive. 
go. And then burn, baby, burn. It screams when I burn it. That's disturbing. Not a huge fan of that. Just go Inferno. Incredibly creepy audio puzzles. I'm pretty sure I've played a creepy audio puzzle at some point. Doesn't Silent Hill have a creepy audio puzzle at some point? Could be misremembering. Oh crap. Disarmed him. <laughs> Disarmed. Because he had an arm and then he took it. Disarmed. I'm really hoping for good things from the System Shock 2 remaster. It's been a long time in development, but, uh, you know, there's still, all, there's still hope. There's still hope it's going to be something really special when it comes out eventually. The All Cleansing Fire. The original Dead Space made amazing use of sound. That game is one of my favorite horror games of all time, I think. I do love me some dead jokes. Gotta respect the dead jokes. Alright, we got some more of that creepy stuff there. Make the claim. Burn! That is so freakish. That is? Don't see any yet. Trying to keep an eye out. I'm wait just waiting to get ambushed by some dudes here. Oh, hello. There's something over here. I swear I saw something flash over here. Oh, right there. Money on the table. Alright, getting close to enough to be able to buy a new gun. That'd be pretty chill. Oh! Someone just whispered if it was okay to take pictures of your Division 2 outfit. <laughs> it's true. And you've seen my outfit in the game, Follows. My outfit is very boring. But you know why my outfit is boring too, because as you've seen on stream, I need a, a level of immersion. So I'm like, what would my character logically be wearing? And it turns out most of the gear that he, I figure he would logically be wearing is like low tier gear. So my character looks very low level, unfortunately. You do have an amazing outfit though, Follows. I was super impressed by that. Uh, oh no. What's happening now? Oh! Uh, wow! Gargo, can you hear me? Some kind of shockwave just hit me. That's the transmitter you after. Mesna's activated it. It's sending out ultra-low frequency pulse. We use these to communicate with submerged vessels in the Cold War. The transmitter wasn't built to call the infected? No. But somehow the infected can hear these pulses. I guess that means you too. These transmissions are stronger than we used in 87. Mesner will draw in the old ones. Well, he's blocked off the road, set up bottlenecks. His troops are waiting for you, Sonishka. They have set up ambushes to kill the infected. Make sure you find that black market entrance. Look for Lotus. All right. Oh, good. They mentioned before that it's believed the older the infected is, as far as from time from infection, the stronger they are. So if it's bringing in the old ones, that's very, very bad news. Oh, jeez. 
very extremely bad news. Load up on ammo. I think we might actually be full on pistol ammo. Which is a very, very good problem to have. Can go down. Ooh. I assume that's the way we're going. Let me explore first, though. I'm like, oh, what was that glowing thing? That's, that's bullets. The glowing thing was bullets. Oh, gee, no, don't dive out of cover! I meant to stick to the wall, you moron. They are way too far off to actually hit there. Falls on one hand, that is a very, uh... That is a very high ideas and philosophy, but on the other hand, I can't argue with results. And you do look fabulous. Stop diving into walls! There we go. Stick! Stick to walls. I don't really have- oh god, you can see my bullets going everywhere here. I don't really have enough accuracy to do this. And yet, because I can't actually gleave at this distance, this is probably my best bet. No! Dive! There we go. Of course I forgot to reload. What was that? That sounded- oh jeez, that sounds real bad. some of my problems for me. I respect that. Uh, but also I feel like he's going to be one of my problems at some point. So there's also that to consider. Oh, jeez. See if there's any goodies inside here. Some ammo. Take some more of that. Oh, God. In here. Ammo, more money. In a similar vein to this game, have you played the Resistance games? Uh, no, Resistance games, I believe, are FPSs, and I'm really, really not good at FPSs on console, so I think I own the first Resistance game, but I never got very far in it because I was just so very bad at uh, FPS on console. I got a second fire rate uh, upgrade right there, which is good because you can't hold two guns at once. So, and you know, there's more than one gun you can upgrade in the game, so. We got some versatility, we got some options there, that's a good thing. Appreciate that. Alright. Making sure there aren't any more hidden goodies. There are lots of nooks and crannies around here. But yeah, like, lore-wise, Resistance is a series I kind of want to check out, but... Uh, because... Because of the whole FPS thing, and the fact that it's only on... On Soul, I never really got into it. Look who it is! My favorite half-monster customer! <laughs> I like how they seem to have crammed all of the comedy in the game into the black market. Alright. So, let's see. They have that new pistol, which does not seem very good at all. Yeah, 21% hot! That's not very hot at all. One might actually call that cold. So I can almost afford the AK? 
Um. But again, the AK doesn't have very good firepower. I kind of want the striker because having a shotgun seems like that would be very handy. Um, I will definitely annihilate those shield guys with that, but I don't have enough money yet, so we're going to continue to hold off. That will never leave you. I'm, I'm so glad. I find it to be a useful benchmark. I really do, Shira. I think I think it's nice. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it helps you as well. Relentlessly, you're still at 0% hot here, and I continue to be unhappy about it. That is a thing worth being unhappy about. That does kind of suck. I will agree. Um, we definitely don't have enough to sell. I mean, we could sell upgrades, like I said, but that's just a terrible, terrible idea. So, we're not going to sell that gun right now either. I think we'll wait a little while. This gun seems to be doing good enough for right now. I'm not super concerned about uh, getting a new gun yet. Right now we're doing okay. <laughs> I'm glad you like, oh shit, handles too. The funny thing is I've talked to other people, and I'm like, what else can you call them? And everyone I talk to is like, nothing, that's what they're called. They're the oh shit handles. <laughs> They're just called ocean handles. There is no other name for them. <laughs> that is the correct and proper technical name. <laughs> All right, close quarters here are making me a little nervous. Pick up some more ammo right there. Minus 13F. I think I mentioned before the coldest I can remember ever being in Chicago is minus 14F. So that's, that's insane. Please stay safe. Please stay warm. Oh, uh, hello, dude. One shot him. I'm gonna help myself to this, I think. This does not do much in the way of damage. This is like the least satisfying howitzer I've ever used in a video game. Oh, and of course the shield guy is just fine. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Just literally walks through a howitzer fire, of course. Oh my god. Oh, there's another one. I don't think I killed him. Nope, I didn't. Oh god. Oh, 
Oh my god, needed reloading. Shit! Run back over here! There we go. Woo! <laughs> Let me get caught up right here. Rex says, welcome in. Shane, did you realize you were running around with a crawl glaive? Yes, I love that movie. I love that movie so much, Rex says. How are you doing? How's your weekend going? Hope you're doing well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Refuse to leave the house if you're not layered up. That's smart. That's very smart. Hey, Valkos, good morning. How are you doing today, Valkos? Hope you're doing well. You know you've got a bad howitzer when it's having trouble killing people who aren't even to cover. That everybody? Everybody dead? Finally? Okay! Nope. Where's that guy? Oh, there he is. There we go! Okay, that guy gets the special touch. That guy, we, we deal with personally. Hope he enjoys it. Stopping power! Bullets have increased chance to knock down enemies! I like that a lot. Okay. Grab some more ammo too. Uh, let's see, let me get caught up right here. Five inches or so, holy crap. It snowed outside yesterday, I haven't seen how much it is yet, I hope it's not too much. Sometimes you pull your jeans over your sweatpants and call it a day, I've done that before. It, when it gets very cold, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> and Chris, thank you for the posture check. Everybody else might want to take advantage of that too. Oh, oh wow. That popped the bad way. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, put that back where it belongs. <laughs> that popped weird and I didn't like it. <laughs> Take a moment to stretch out. Just don't, don't do it the way I just did. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, it's okay. My elbow's still mostly where it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure. Most of what's supposed to be connected is still connected, I think. Oh, we're all right. Oh, crap. Whew. All right, went into that pop a little bit quick. Make sure to take it slow. Take it slow when you're stretching if you haven't moved in a while. <laughs> you don't want don't to yank anything that doesn't want to be yanked. Oh. Relentlessly, my knees had it. I refuse to stay where I belong day today. So that's also been ouchy. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Valkos, you're doing well. Buddy and I got a, so a lot of songwriting done yesterday. Cyber Moon Buddy is coming over today as well to work on that project. Awesome! Like I said, I thought 2024 is going to be a great year for you, and you were off to an amazing start right there, so that's awesome. I'm okay. I'm okay. Something popped weird in my elbow. We're fine, though. Oh, God. Every now and again, my joints just gang up on me. I know the feeling. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the posture check. I did need that. I did very much need that. All right. Let's look around for items, then we'll head to the next area. Whew. That was a hell of a firefight. Like I said, incredibly unsatisfying howitzer, though. It just did not seem to want to kill anybody. And those guys with the uh, shields, too, are literally just ignoring it. Which seems rude to me. You know? Can I hear more enemies? 
I, oh god! Shield go! Shit! Where did he even come from? Alright, let's get some distance. those guys so much <laughs> it is a very mighty shield I will definitely agree with you there oh there's multiple guys all right something spawned in more dudes and I don't care for that level four protocols to the howitzer where are you guys at want some oh now they dip out I see one of them there I hear you taking hits! I think I actually got him though. I don't know where that other guy is, but I know there's one other guy here. I think I'm gonna have to go to him, unfortunately. Oh, there he is! Was too close for comfort. That'll take care of that problem. Okay. Jeez. One shot in the head, problem solved. Alright. Let's head over this way. What we got over here? Alright. Spooky hallway here. That's never a good sign. Get some electricity there if we need it. Auto save point. I like those. Any baddies yet? I'm sure they're lurking somewhere though. Oh, baddies! Oh, there we go. Oh, good two shield guys. Oh, I didn't kill either of them. I really hoped it was going to. Oh, God. Got one of them. Oh, this is such an irritating way to fight these guys. There might be a better way. I don't know of it. There we go, alright, cool. Now we can go back to actually having some cool battles. Nice! That's a grenade. Where do they get all these grenades from? Ah, catch your leg! That's right! Ooh, those are dangerous. Got him. Grenades! Where do they even keep all of these? Oh, I accidentally picked up an AK. Oh, 
Well, may as well use it while I got it. And there it blew up. So that's what it looks like when you borrow a gun and it blows up on you. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, next time stretch slow. Take it easy. Don't jump into it. That is that is dangerous. <laughs> Why can I not throw the legs at people? That would be amazing. Incredible intimidation tactic, I would think. Scare the shit out of some of these dudes. Hey, Dragon of the West, welcome in. How are you doing today? How's your weekend going? Hope everything is well with you. All right, I think we actually cleared the path here. Partially, that looks like the way forward. Anything in here? Curious little nook. Strangely, doesn't seem to be. Must have been like an enemy spawn point or something. Ooh, hey, there's another shop down here. I like the sound of that. Come to town. He just had to go there, didn't he? <laughs> you know, that is the thing that would freak me out enough to just throw all of my uh, my weapons down there. That's a thing. Do you do magic tricks? I used to. When I was a kid, I was fascinated with magic. I don't remember most of them anymore, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Coincidentally enough. All right. He doesn't have anything new. And I still don't have enough cash to buy anything. So I will hold off. <laughs> um, probably nothing interesting to sell. All right, we'll be back. Like, my gun is still pretty much cutting it. Of course I'd love something better, but for right now the gun's doing alright. Right up here. Oh, now I've got cash, of course. <laughs> that guy's completely wrong. You do not have a pony. I don't even kind of have a pony. It's true. I, I wish I did. That'd be pretty neat. But no, I do not have... Oh, jeez! Go ahead and jump down here. Oh jeez, that's a grenade! That's really dangerous. Ooh. That was some rate of fire right there. Like, obviously I don't have the range to be fighting dudes like this. Which is a problem, but, you know. Oh, got him! Whew. If I'm willing to throw enough bullets downwind, eventually I will take him out. And right now we are doing really good on ammo, so I don't mind it. Alright, so where do we go from here? The blood stain of the pillar looks like a Banksy. It was very artistic. I do consider myself an artist. Holy shit! The fuck is that? Oh! 
That's the wrong button. Bet he felt that one. somewhere oh there's one Jesus Christ to the face there. The main character's name is Hayden Tenno. Crap! Also, fun fact about the main character, you don't hear him talk too much, but the main character is voiced by Michael Rosenbaum, probably best known as Lex Luthor from uh, uh, Smallville, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, seriously, when I was looking up, because uh, I always post a trailer for the game in Discord, and I was looking up the trailer for this game, and the one I found uh, has Michael Rosenbaum actually talking about voicing the character. Check it out, you can probably find the video pretty easily if you look for a Dark Sector trailer on YouTube. Oh. I hope I'm hurting it, it's hard to tell. There we go! Woo! That guy was no joke. When was this released? This was 2008. This is actually a PS3 title right there. So, almost 16 years ago, which is wild. Okay! That was definitely tough. Hopefully we don't need the rocket launcher again. Alright, what do we got here? More ammo? I have a feeling we're gonna need that. Um, ooh, hello. What is that? Another ammo crates. I'm literally full on all ammo right now, that's fantastic. Feeling good about that. More rockets! Should we need them, I suppose. I really hope we don't. It felt like a boss encounter. 
I'm pretty sure that was the boss and we beat him. Gotta figure out where to go now. Oh, oh! I think I see what we're doing, actually. See, am I right? I am? Oh no, that's a uh, rocket launcher ammo. I think I'm right, though. You mean? There we go! Set the glaive on fire with him! And then blast that dude. Thank you for helping me solve the puzzle, boss corpse. Much appreciated. This was for Windows too? I didn't know there was a PC release for this. How many bullets does one need to eat before becoming full? I'll let you know. <laughs> Haven't gotten there yet. Hello? Sounds like there's a very bit large dude upstairs. All right, there's a gas leak right there. We have find, find some fire or electricity, we can ignite that. That'd be nice. Right? Let's see, so his last name and the shuriken he's using are giving me heavy Warframe references. Doubt it's intentional because the games are five years apart? Interesting you should mention that, Valkos. This game is one of the first titles ever made by Digital Extremes, the people who made Warframe. <laughs> and Warframe relentlessly, aggressively references this game. As a matter of fact, if you look at the O on the goddamn box, you'll notice it's just straight up the Lotus symbol. So you got the Lotus on the box in the logo, number one. The main character is named Hayden Tenno. He uses a glaive. One of the bad guys in here just straight up looks like Nyx from Warframe. <laughs> That's actually why I wanted to play this game, because I love Warframe, and I'm like, wow, this game looks like Warframe. Oh, it's made by Digital Extremes. That's insane. Let's see. Kendra the Hylian, welcome in. Finally, my full body trackers came in. I can finally dance in VR. That is excellent. I know those things aren't cheap, but you can do a lot of really fun things with them. How are you doing today, Kendra? Hope everything is going good with you. <laughs> Valkos, I am so glad I can introduce you to this game. That is awesome. I am constantly digging for the weird stuff. It sounds like I'm delivering today. <laughs> Door I can go through over there. There's something crackling behind it, so I think that's what I need to ignite. That gas, possibly? What do we have over here, then? Um, oh, another access point to the gas right there. Cool, then. Alright. We'll crack open that door see what's behind it there. Dark Sector is not backwards compatible with the Series X. That's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. The signs were there and they were strong. It's actually just surreal how many references there are to Warframe in here. Expecting a package tomorrow. Hopefully it comes today. That would be great. I always love it when packages come early. Makes me very happy. So I'm not going to have forever to keep the charge. So let's get some distance first. Before we throw. Let's head back here. Alright. We got the charged wave. And we head around to here. Ignite the gas. Now we've got the flame glaive. And then we burn that gunk. And we are on our way. Beautiful. Part of my flashlight, too. At least for a moment there. Is there a door? I just heard a door. That's creepy. Okay. 
Yeah, everything about this just screams Warframe. Once you know it's made by the Warframe folks, like every everything, it's like, yeah, yeah, this does feel like Warframe. I kind of love it. Oh? I heard baddies. I don't see baddies, though. Dark Sector is still available on Steam for a Tenno, pun intended. I had no idea this was on Steam. Thank you for letting me know. For some reason, I thought this was harder to get a hold of than that. But that's good. Aha. See more fire down here. So. Night the Glaive again. Head over here. Burn, baby, burn. Grushin, welcome in. Has the wandering fortress of the beast been found already? I'm looking for it, keeping my eyes open. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. You're gonna come to life and try to murder me? Really hope not. I also appreciate a game that doesn't have enemies in its puzzle sections. Let me just do puzzles. If you're gonna give me a puzzle, let me just worry about the puzzle. I appreciate that. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Welp. That's one way to go to a new area. Uh. That's the second time poor Hayden's gone over a cliff? Is having a hell of a day, let me tell you. All teams are to report to processing for contamination <laughs> All weapons must have magnetic governors enabled. Another fire raid upgrade. Call for your team safety. Follow protocols. You know, in the original, you could have unlimited flamethrowing powers. All you need is to hold hands with your true love. <laughs> I've seen that movie like seven or eight times, Russian. I love that movie. Test your mask seal and oh, God. I'm lying, it's not actually that good, but I do like it a lot. <laughs> Hence why I've watched it so many times. Oh, there's another, uh, another vendor right there. <laughs> so, you've come to know how capitalism really works. <laughs> I suppose... I think it was supposed to be a suitcase, but it is hard to see in this, uh, in this light. Really, it's unavailable in your region. Interesting. Can I, can I see it in my region? Is it available in the U.S.? It does seem to be available in the U.S. at least. There is that. And it has very positive reviews. Interesting. The top review is Dark Sector walked so that Warframe could run. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. I still want to save up for that shotgun, because that seems really nice. Keep waiting. Unavailable for you too, Nano. Interesting. 1099 in Canada. Thank you for checking. Have you tried Metal Hellsinger yet? Yeah, that's the... What is that? The throwback FPS, I think? I'm not huge into boomer shooters, is the thing. They were a little bit before my time, and I don't really have the reflexes for them. If that's the game I'm thinking of there. Oh, the rhythm shooter. No, that one I was kind of curious about, but I haven't tried that yet. Have you? Would you recommend it? Is it any good? 
I know there was a lot of people hype about it before it came out. It is really good. All right. Yeah, the idea of like a high speed shooter that's also a rhythm game, that's kind of cool. All right, nice, nice. Kill the beasts to the beat. Good pitch right there. Uh oh. Whoa! There's that wave again. Sure, though. Beautiful. <laughs> like Doom mixed with Hi Fi Rush? I want to, I need to try Hi Fi Rush too. That game looks amazing. Oh, come on! And of course, even the zombies aren't taking out the shield guy. guys ruin everything. Always the shield guy. Alright, let's try that again. I got excited because uh, one of the monsters hit the shield guy and he was blinking red, which means I could have done a finisher on him. But no, I was too uh, messed up. Are we stealthing? We are definitely not stealthing. I don't think there's any stealth in this game. <laughs> the shield guys do suck. Flashlight that'll help. There we go. I can see that one okay. I think I actually got the shield guy there. Beautiful. Power throw that is very satisfying. That was just normal throw. Not dead yet! There we go, that got him. Alright, who the heck is shooting? 
Uh, there is another shield guy down there. And he's dead. Beautiful. Yeah. Turn off that flashlight. It's not helping now. Find it funny that these like what zombies, aliens, and dismemberment still makes it unavailable. <laughs> there, are, there are humans that have been infected with some sort of terrible, weird virus that we don't understand. Might be genetically engineered. I don't know. We haven't learned too much about it. Ooh. Let's cover. Oh, of course, he's got grenades. How would he not have grenades? Ow. Ooh, there we go. Oh, dude, all the way up there. Shit. Go. No! I actually did try to dodge there, and it didn't work very well. Sounds like a nasty weapon. Got him! Oh, there's another shield guy! And another one right behind him. And also, whoever that is shooting found me. Back up! Oh god, I don't even know it hit me there. Alright, where is that shield bastard? Take him out once he shows up again. Oh, we got Crunch! Thank you for letting me know. Oh, jeez. Let me get caught up on, uh... Shed here. Dead Space and Mortal Kombat are also unavailable there. That's weird. Very strange. Mortal Kombat does make sense in Leaf. All right. Yeah, there was a ship in the rain at the beginning and then something bad happened, but it wasn't really clear what was going on there. The virus has made it to the audio processing. No! Nano, thank you for redeeming a posture check. Everyone else, since we have to take a moment to wait for the crunch to pass, may as well take a moment to stretch out gently, slowly. Be kind to your poor joints. If I remember, Team Fortress 2 wasn't available for a short time because of the blood and gore. I think I remember hearing about that. Before Warframe, Team Fortress 2 was my most played game on Steam for a very, very long time. I mean NG, because of course I did. <laughs> I really love that game, though. Ugh. And of course there's the uh, infamous uh, German version of Half-Life. Uh, Half-Life was originally banned in Germany because you could kill the scientists, who were civilians. And Germany banned it for that, so they made a separate version of Half-Life for Germany. And what happens in the German version is if you shoot one of the scientists, they sit down on the floor. No blood, no death, they, they just have a little sit. <laughs> Which I always thought was hilarious. Let's see. Ugh. I think you've seen that before, it's, it's, it's impressive. 
<laughs> I love that that was their fix. You, I mean, you can still literally shoot them. You can still put bullets into them, but they just sit down. That's all. Just have a little sit. Get comfortable. <laughs> Let's see. Did you know the Team Fortress characters made it into Dungeon the Endless? I did not. I've been meaning to try that one as well. Yeah, there should be a mod. There should be a mod where you can just make the scientist sit down. The robots? I don't remember the robots. What was that, Groshin? Tranquilizer bullets, of course. Alright, how's the audio sound now? We good? Hopefully. Still waiting for those shield guys to ambush me here. Got him! That's a gas grenade, so I gotta step back. That is one of the shield guys. Shit. Didn't think I was in it, but I was in it. Oh, I can't see him, but I know he's here. I saw I swear I saw the guy. Oh there he is. Trying to be sneaky. Got him! Ooh. I don't know where he came from, but uh... <laughs> he's dead now. Every other game got retrofitted with plenty of cool robots instead of puny, boring humans. Oh my god, I think I did hear about that. Shrapnel plays! Oof, I just joined, but you just unlocked a memory with this game. It seems like everybody's either never heard of this game or, like, has deep, deep-seated memories with this. Did you enjoy it back in the day? And also, welcome in, Shrapnel. Hope you're doing good. Crunch is gone? Good, good. This game is on PS Plus? That's insane. Tsunami, hope you're doing well. Um, I mean, there was, uh... Oh, what was that? There, yeah, there was an old game for, like, Commodore 64 where you could run people over. And there was a lot of controversy with it. Shrapnel, you rented it back in the day. Nice. It shows just how old the game is, honestly. Carmageddon! Yes, that was it. Carmageddon. Very, very low graphics, but it made a lot of politicians very, very angry. <laughs> Not only do they sit, they wiggle their heads like you are a bad person. Oh. Lion, welcome in. It's very funny to me that uh, Digital Extremes is having like a third go at the Dark Sector story now. <laughs> they gotta get it right one of these days, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, Car or the, the original. It might not be Carmageddon I'm thinking of. There might be actually be something else. No, Death Race 2000 is the game I'm thinking of. That was the one that was on uh, very old systems. Carmageddon was much later. Enjoyed the game as a rental, but never contemplated or bothered to pick it up afterwards. Completely fair. All right, did I actually get everybody now? Is anybody lurking around? That's the next question. Hopefully got everybody, but there was a, this game likes doing late spawns as well. But I don't want to take it for granted. Oh yeah, Blockbuster Hollywood Video. We had a couple of mom and pop shops out by me too. That were really nice. There was a there was a little shop within walking distance of me, uh, owned by a, a nice little couple. And every week, my brother and I would walk down there, and eventually we settled on renting the same thing every week. I would get Blaster Master, and he would get Skate or Die, both for the NES. Uh, because we both loved both of them, they were amazing. I know Green Blood was the hack they used in a lot of things, that might be the thing right there. You still got a gift card for it? That's a nice little souvenir, though. Nice little keepsake to remember the era of video rentals. So that's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Alright, I'm guessing I have to go up on the bridge next, right? Probably. Up here next? Probably. 
Oh, there was another howitzer. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, the howitzer is pointing the wrong way, so I can't really use it. Oh, jeez. Fighting each other at least, that's nice. Oh, they stop fighting each other. Shit. Oh jeez. Okay. Oops. sure how you trigger finishers in here. It's like sometimes you can do a finisher and sometimes you can't. Let's see. I miss video rental stores streaming is fine handy, but we lose a certain charm along the way. I just miss the fact that we can't get physical editions of games anymore. You've got stuff like Alan Wake 2, one of my favorite games of last year that you just can't buy in physical form. And also you get a lot of games that just don't even have the game on the disc when you buy the disc. Which, uh... You know, it seems a little shady. Very frustrated with all that. Get off! The hell with you! Whew. Got a couple of nice power throws in there. That one too. Oh, we got more dudes coming though. Get those power throws coming. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice! Dudes out, I'm gonna keep chopping them down. I'm fine with this. We both whipped! That was embarrassing. I gotta dodge! That guy's a little too close. Ooh, that's a new finisher. I was trying to lock onto it. Whew. Got your legs. Ah! Three for the price of one. I love it. All right, but seriously, how long are these guys gonna keep spawning? Serious question. That's all you get. I'm starting to wonder if these might be infinite. Anyone else get the vibe these might be infinite?
Oh god, don't get stuck in the corner! Now there's still more coming. I kind of want to get to that howitzer up there, see if I can use that to hold them off. But yeah, this is definitely infinite at this point. I would be shocked if this wasn't infinite. See, the real madness is collector's edition without the copy of the game. Yes, I've seen that happen in uh, Diablo, or the new Diablo had like a five hundred dollar collector's edition that didn't come with the game. It was so weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking they might want me to use the machine gun turrets, but the one right in front of me is turned the wrong way. I don't think I can turn it around, unfortunately. <laughs> I gotta get to that other turret. I gotta. There's a guy behind me too, I gotta watch out for him. Secrets again, aren't they? No, I'm certain down here. I'm certain down here. Run! Friggin' run! I don't know where we're going, but I don't want to be there anymore. through there. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's fight these guys here and then hope that these are the last of them. I think that's about the best we can do here. Whew. There's one more dude, but he's kind of stuck there. Hilarious. Oh, there's a couple of dudes stuck here. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, so let's 
steel knight welcome in how are you doing today <laughs> it does kind of feel like that sure doesn't it this is this is mind bending oh jeez. yeah the fatalities in the new mortal kombat are pretty nuts gotta appreciate that oh i don't know if there's any goodies around here but honestly i'm just glad to not be there anymore we were on that bridge for the longest goddamn time. And now finally we're free! Free from that horrible, horrible bridge. Alright. Oh, oh, talking about the Switch version. Oh yeah, I heard the Switch version has some insane performance issues. I did definitely hear about that. All right, what the heck do we have going on in this area? All right, this is a gas valve, I assume. Or... Oh, all right, so we get fire straight up. Uh-oh. That's ominous. I see what we need to do. Let's get straight to it. Ignite the glaive. We are going to here. Woo. Yeah, where the characters' mouths aren't even moving, I have seen that. That is ridiculous. That's probably a game that should not have been released. I'm glad they're getting dragged for it, though. That is a level of quality that is blatantly unacceptable. Not prepared to see how it runs on your Gen 1 Switch? Don't get it then. Don't spend your hard-earned money on it. Crap. Oh good, we got more. Run! Dead up in here! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh good! I don't think I'm gonna be able to just run through here. Maybe not? Oh, let's go over here. We're running! Crap! Oh, creepy looking crits. Oh, this looks ominous. Oh, money. Oh, crap. That blow didn't fall with me. Ow. This is more infinite spawns. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's see. Emperor and other Rin have both invested in a Harvester sequel, too. I think, obviously, the, the Harvester sequel will have to have infinite enemy spawns basically everywhere. So wherever you see one enemy, you now know there's going to be infinite enemies following you everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. Because they can continue to pursue you no matter where you go on the map, and they will continue to, and they'll just keep spawning and spawning and spawning until there's too many of them and it crashes your processor. Um, and that's what you get for not 
Stealthing? Probably? Yeah, that's what we'll blame it on. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Kendra, I mean, I wouldn't recommend getting the OLED Switch yet because they're probably going to be announcing the uh, Switch successor sometime in the next year. And I don't know if it's going to have reverse compatibility, but it's worth at least checking out before you invest in another console, I'd think. Hey, Claire, welcome in. How are you doing today, Claire? Hope you are doing well. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> Enemies will spawn even in the settings menu. I love it. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, they're coming from both ways now. There's so many dudes! Shit! Oh my god! Alright, we have fire. That's a good thing. I don't know what we need to do with it, but that's something. Oh crap. Run some more! Oh shit! There's some puzzle that needs solving here. Gotta figure out what. Alright, so I got fire. What do I need to do with the fire? Also, it seems to have finally quieted down a little bit. That's nice. Whew. Another reload speed mod. Oh yeah, there's been fake images of the Switch 2 for years now. People are insane about that. <laughs> Peggle 2, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, you have to you have to beat the boss to change the settings. You know, that we call that gatekeeping in uh Metroidvania terminology, obviously. <laughs> you need to earn the right to change the volume balance. I love it. Imagine a boss fight that has an attack that switches your controls and you have to go to a spot to change it back to normal. That would be so mean. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. So... We've got fire. Why do we need fire? We presumably need to do something with the fire. What? what? Can't open that gate, can we? I don't think so. That's grenade. We'll ignite the glaive. Can we ignite this thing? There is gas up there, alright. That seems like something. Hello? That sounds bad. Alright, let's ignite the glaive again. Oh, hey, dude! I don't know what the hell that was, but it's dead now. Dead end. That sucks. All right. So what are we doing now? <laughs> Harvester Two is going to be such a bestseller. Everyone is going to love it. 
and they'll be talking about it. They won't be saying nice things, but they'll be talking. And I've been told, uh, all publicity is good publicity. And I have chosen to believe it. Alright, this actually got an autosave there. That's probably a good thing. What in the heck do they want from us here, though? They're, uh, breaking the fence over here? No, oh, although this little area is a little suspicious. Can we see anything else that needs to be ignited? I don't think so. Get over here? No, not that I can see. Well, this is odd. There was a lamp out there? Where? Because we lit this one, definitely. We lit, we lit two of the lamps. If there's more, we might have to light those, too. I mean, I think there is such a thing as bad publicity, definitely, but most publicity is good publicity. I will agree with that point. Down in the stairs, one of the lamps wasn't lit. Alright, I'll take a look at that. It doesn't seem to be anything to do in here, so I think lighting those two lamps was definitely the first thing we need to do. Ignite the glaive. Down here. Who mean those lamps? I don't think. Oh, that one right there? Oh. What is that? <laughs> Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Just put up my claim. Alright. Where the heck are we going? Oh, uh, I guess let's go a ways back then. Go ahead and ignite my claim again. Then... Run back up here? Shit, more zombies! This is a bad thing. Should not have come back up here. Oh, there! There's a thing that probably needs to be lit. Hey, folks. That worked pretty well. Alright, so there is another thing we can light right in there. Let's try that. Get. After we take care of these clowns. Wow! Alright, that was pretty cool. I don't know why they all exploded, but they did all explode there. Still playing danger music, I don't like that. On fire. I did not know that, but I like that. I really appreciate that. Hit. Oh, 
too close there. Die! Oh god, I really can't tell if we're doing infinite spawns here either. And that's deeply concerning to me. Okay! Things we need a light. Presumably. Their AI appears to have failed, it's fine by me. zombie thing is kind of wearing me down. It was cool for a second. Now I'm not such a huge fan. Emperor, thank you so much for the gift sub to Kendra the Hillian right there. Super cool of you, Emperor. I appreciate that. Gift sub number 1,506 in the channel. Enjoy those emotes, Kendra. Hope you have fun with those. <laughs> stopped I appreciate that all right what the hell else am I supposed to do here is the next question because I am going backwards right now and I don't really like that much but I felt like we may need to light those torches oh here now that this is lit we can burn our way through there that seems like progress Yeah, no! I turned off the music and I thought I was safe. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, oh, hopefully we're safe. Let's head down here. I have no idea that this is leading us, but... Feels like progress! I still don't know what those things are, but I don't want to let them live. That's all I know for certain. They seem dangerous. So this area doesn't seem to have infinite spawns, just... bots? So I probably should just be killing enemies as I come across them. That seems like the wise move here. Alright, so we have more black stuff up there. But we're gonna need to get a burning glaive all the way down here, which could be tricky. Seems like a long way to go. Alright, so let's head back. And... That's blocked off, so I can't get in there. But do we just have to run with the glaive? I don't see anything to light down here. That's not a great thing. Right. Night. And then start running, see how long this thing lasts. Feels like this is gonna be close though. Oops. Caught on some rocks. Yep. That is way too far to go. Alright. If we can't get it all the way down here, is there something else I can ignite down here? Don't see any more torches? Oh! Oh, up there! Tricky, tricky. I see it now. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go test out the VR trackers. Oh, Blade and Sorcery, nice. I hope the trackers work well for you, Kendra. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And you take care of yourself. We will hopefully see you around. All right, so we gotta get that one up high, I think. And then that should give us enough time to uh, get all the way down to there. Beautiful. Much better. Still a bit of a hike. But doable now, I think. Oh, just, right, just short there, I think. Well, there might be another one up there. It's a little hard to tell. Oh, if we can get it from there, that's easy. Perfect! That would look different than normal. Still gonna be lurking, obviously, still gonna hear you. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I hadn't noticed the disconnected this thing, but that is hilarious. Very uh, old school art design right there. How do we solve this problem? I don't know, just hope nobody notices. <laughs> it looks good as long as you don't notice that one little thing. As so often is the case with games like this. Oh god, alright. <laughs> Autonomous virus arm! Roll the glaive when I'm in cover? Alright, let's try. Ah! The catch! That catch looked really ridiculous. Oh, hello. rest thanks for stopping by nano take care of yourself <laughs> well we don't have to fight the robot guy that's probably a good thing we do have to fight some more regular human dudes though Still shooting at me though. Ah, over there. Alright, let's jump to right here. Got him! Yeah, and look, there's another upgrade case over here. Another puncture, nice. We've got duplicates for most of the upgrades at this point, which is very cool. I appreciate that. Alright, lots of fire here if we need fire to solve puzzles. That's always good. And hey, a big ominous church! Bad things usually don't happen in big ominous churches in video games, right? No, uh, usually they're little chill places. Places of refuge and peace and harmony, I believe. Pretty sure. Never! Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh. What's ominous?
bonus right now, right at the start. Break open this chest here. Grab some ammo. Break open this. And we're just about full on ammo now, so that's already off to a good start. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, everything has been kind of dark and sinister. It's true. I'm like, can I light my glaive on candles? No, I cannot. Not enough fire. Unfortunately, because I saw that thing in the center there. I'm like, can I light that on fire? With the candles? Not quite. Oh, there is some fire back there, though. Let's see what you've got. No, let's not see what he's got. Oh, how do we fight this guy? That's a bad thing. I'm not sure if this is a puzzle boss or just a fight the guy kind of boss. That's gonna be important. there. That's okay, I don't think there's any gas coming out of that one anyway. Uh, what else is there doing here? There's something electrical up there. That seems awfully suspicious. I'm not sure what to do with it yet, but that seems suspicious. I cannot ignite that one. Whoa! Um... What am I supposed to do with that? God damn! Alright, uh... Like that does him any harm. In which case, we have to figure out what does hurt him. Uh, I didn't see any rocket launchers or anything around here. Let's see, John Trave, welcome in. It's it's all right so far. We're on a boss right now. I'm a little confused about, but we'll see. <laughs> Emperor frequently for me, frequently. <laughs> that seems like a good way to do superheroing. I agree. Gotta have something to do with that electrical thing up there, right? Like, that's so suspicious. I don't see anything to do with it, though, is the problem. Alright, let's try this. Light the glaive on fire. There we go. Gotta 
be a reason we can do that. I was supposed to hit him there, but I couldn't get to him in time. There we go. Alright, oh, didn't finish him off, but that was kind of metal. I'm supposed to burn those while he's on them, I think. Well, that's some wasted opportunities then. I might not be able to even be able to beat him now. I'm not sure how to beat him at this point. I was definitely supposed to be using those things. Sending him your tax forms? It is that time of year in the US. Convince him to destroy pillars for That's a question. By standing in front of pillars with him throwing shit breaking. It'll hurt me bad enough. No, I don't think we can break any of the pillars. Not these ones maybe. Oh, you can't break the smaller ones, that's pretty rad. That do anything? Maybe? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Again, I have no idea if we're actually accomplishing anything here. But the one thing I know we're supposed to do, we kind of botched. It doesn't seem to be able to jump over to the other side now. Does that mean there's still something I need to do over here? Possibly, is there any more stuff to burn? Stuff to burn. All right, we must have to do something with the electricity. There we go. All right, we got electricity. Oh, there's something flickering up there. There we go. 
No, whatever that is, it's not conductive. He doesn't care about getting hit by electricity. Hmm. I kind of just want to die and start over now that I know I'm supposed to get him with the pillars. Hmm, this is tricky. You know I can get the electricity, that's significant too. I have no idea what to do with it. There we go. Open else up high I'm supposed to get? Is there conductive metal on these pillars? Doesn't seem like it. Run around a little bit, see if we see anything. Looks like maybe we could affect with electricity. I'm over here. Can get him to break more pillars. That's pretty cool. That was the wrong way, it still worked. Good miss! Check your aim! You terrible miss, dude. Alright, there's gotta be something else in here. I feel like there's probably something on the ceiling I'm just having trouble seeing. I'm not seeing anything else we can do here. That lightning's so conspicuous though. Check one thing first, too. No, he doesn't appear to be able to hop over the other side for some reason. That's super friggin' weird. Well, for some reason, I'm totally safe down here. Soft locked here. You know what? I'm gonna check game facts. I'm gonna check game facts just to make sure I'm not soft locked because it's possible I'm soft locked. It is. May as well be uh be certain. See if we can figure out what the heck's going on here. Uh what are we in right now? We're in chapter five, I think. Probably. Let's see. Uh, are we even in chapter five? No, I don't think we are yet. I think we're still in chapter four. Yeah, here we go. I think this is the boss. Um, all right, so we got that. Alright, so apparently if I just hit him with fire or electricity, that might do the, the job? Oh god, I do remember when Mega Maki was glitched and I was fighting him forever. I thought I would be fighting Mega Maki for the rest of eternity. I thought the Mega Maki fight would never end. Eternal Mega Maki! It. 
There we go. Honestly, that was. I still like Megamaki. Megamaki's awesome. like it, but I don't know if that's actually killing him. Oh, jeez. again because am I actually hurting him now? Do I do just keep hitting him or what are we doing here? Um let's see. Oh, all right, we actually, we have to set him on fire and then we actually have to shoot him now. <laughs> we do actually have to shoot him. Uh, so burn him and then actually use our weapon. Gotcha. actually damage him with guns. But it looks all crispy like that, I mean. And then when he does that, that means he's getting his armor ready. I think he set himself on fire there, which is hilarious. And this is the point where it would have been nice to have upgraded my gun, but you know, hindsight. Is he stuck? He might be stuck here. Well, that's 
Not actually good for me. Oh no, I get out. I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. You can see him bleed when I shoot him like that. That seems promising. Alright. check and make sure I'm actually doing the right thing because I've put a lot of bullets into him here. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I guess this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I prob They probably assumed that I had a better gun at this point is all. Okay. but it was early today. I don't know why. Okay! Okay! Let's go ahead and grab all the ammo since we just used most of mine. Oh, jeez. Used so much. I'm glad there's more around here in case I ran out because I went through a couple hundred rounds there. That could have easily got very bad. You got this one here. What do we have in this one? Thank you for the GG's. Much appreciated. Alright, we stocking little by little here. Hmm. 
table. All right, feeling better. Feeling better. Looks like we might be able to go behind here, possibly. Yeah, there's something back here. Uh, nothing. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, money. Plenty of cash there. I appreciate that. Now that it's saved post-boss, because I wasn't 100% sure it saved post-boss originally, I think this is where we're going to want to stop for the night. Oh, but we're off to a good start. We got a cool new power. I'm eager to try that one out. As a matter of fact, what does it look like when I try it out? Oh. It's a cool shield in front of me. It lasts for a decent amount of time. And then I'm on cooldown. I can't use it again yet. I wonder how I can tell when I can use it again. Oh, there we go. Doesn't seem to be any indicator. That's weird. Oh, it moves with me, though. I like that. That's kind of cool. That cleave again? That ominous portal again? That Warframe reference again? Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I hope you're interested in this so far. I'm definitely interested to see where this goes. And definitely, we're going to try and uh, either buy some new guns or upgrade the one I have right now, because that, that was bad times. <laughs> I appreciate you all being here. I had a lot of fun, personally. Uh, so we'll be back next week, Friday, and we'll be picking up right where we left off. We'll see where we can go from there. Uh, but for right now, if you've got a minute to spare, I would really appreciate it, because we have one last thing to do before we call it quits, and that is... Let's see who all else is online. So if you are not done watching Twitch for the day, maybe I can send you somewhere cool. I would like the opportunity to. Uh, so make sure to hit follow first and foremost if you haven't already. That'll be the easiest way to find me next week or at any point if you'd like to come back. We'd love to have you. And while I'm looking to see who all is live right now, there's some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them yet, including a link to my YouTube if you want to check out some of the games I've played in the past, and a link to my Discord if you would like to chat with me or the rest of the community outside of the stream. Feel free to jump in there. Everybody is invited. And I think I see where we are headed today. Somebody that I do not get to raid very often, but it is always a joy whenever we do. So ladies and gents, I would love it if you would join me as we head over on a raid to Moss Bios. She's an awesome retro streamer. She plays a lot of really cool older stuff. She does some cool stuff with visualizers. Uh, very creative, very funny, and today she is playing a really neat indie game called Strange Horticulture about being a, a uh, herbalist, I believe, I think is the term. Possibly a witch? I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it's an interesting little game. Why don't you join me over there, say hi to Moss, hang out for a little bit, throw her a follow if you like what she's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do, a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. I will see you folks next week for some more Dark Sector. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.